All right, guys, on Friday, guys. right after we left UCSS, yeah. we finished the TV show, we finished posting our clips, we were walking out the studio, and we see this bombshell of announcement. The Browns had hired Mike Vrabel as a consultant. Yeah. What were your thoughts to the Browns hiring the 2021 NFL Coach of the Year as a coaching and personnel consultant? My first reaction, guys, is the same reaction I've had to everything the Browns have done in the coaching realm this offseason. It's, and it's a two-part thing. One, why have they not extended Kevin Stefanski? That's everything. That's what I keep thinking. Mm-hmm. And two, did Kevin Stefanski want him hired? Or is this Jimmy Haslam forcing it on him? <laughs> now, I don't know the answer to either of those questions. And <laughs> he's got the cowboy hat in that picture. So random. But um, it was a ball-ass picture. I'm not going to lie. When I made that one, I was yeah, like, yeah. it's a power But uh, listen, Mike Vrabel obviously can be a valuable guy to have in the organization. I'm just a little concerned that these moves are being forced on Kevin Stefanski. And in the end, if that's the case, I don't like it. Obviously, I don't know. I'm hoping I'm I'm wrong. But I have this feeling in my gut that that's happening. And if that's the case, I don't like it. If this was a Stefanski decision, then I love it. Because he's a smart football man. And how can it hurt? But I don't know. Uh, I have mixed feelings. When I heard it, Tyvus, I'm like, okay. Um... My thing was we was on that we was doing the ultimate Browns and I was like, I like it for, from a standpoint of being like, again, operation stockpile. Again, thank you, Cleveland Browns, for listening to your boy G. Bush. You stockpile quarterbacks. Now you stockpiling coaches. I like the mindset, right? You look how many people they've brought in here that has a very strong mindset, right? You go get you, you got Vrabel. You already got Jim Schwartz, right? Then you, you, you get Tommy Reese, who used to be a, a, a uh, offensive coordinator. You go get Dorsey, right? So now you got all these <coughs> mixes of, in, of thought processes. And I like it because it, it reminds me of what smart companies do. Smart companies always have think tanks and always have consultants come in to give you some outside influence or outside thoughts that you may not have had. And plus, I just think it's a little bit of a, you know, <laughs> you scratch your, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. A couple of years ago, Jim Schwartz was out of football. Guess what? Mike Vrabel had him on as an special assistant, right? Mm-hmm. Now it's an opportunity for him to give it back to him. You know how it is, the good old boy system. But I don't mind to be in a good old boy system yeah. if the boys is good. I like Vrabel in so, this case. Do you, do you have no concern that this was forced or you don't care either way? You think it's good? I, well, listen, I think there, there is something to be said for this. And I would ask the question why. It, it would be nothing for them to offer Stefanski and uh, Andrew Barry contracts right now. It would be nothing to it. It's nothing. I don't know why people try to make it seem like, oh, there's some special timing that they got to have, and this is the reason. It's perplexing a little bit at this point yeah. because, like, come on, this is stretching out a long time, and, and, and you can see they bring in other people. <laughs> they making moves in other places. They right. doing different things in the organization. So it seems crazy that you wouldn't have this be done by now, especially if you bring in a big name like that. That guy got a big name. That's kind of crazy to think, yeah. right? Yeah. So, right. I don't know. What do you, what, what's your take on it, Tyvis? First of all, I said go Bucks. Uh, <laughs> it's time for the Buckeyes to do yeah. what we always do. We always got to save something. So, it started with Denzel. Can you save your basketball program? Ooh. Jake Deaver's going to do a great job of doing that. Thank Coach you very speak. much. Coach Firing higher. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> No, when I seen it, I said to myself, it's a, it's a good thing. If you want to say if it was forced or not, I honestly think, this is what I truly yeah. think. Jim Schwartz, after one year being there, he's got, he's earned the respect of a lot of people. Sure. I'd say. Yeah. I think what he's done to not just the defense, but to that team, he's changed the mindset. Attitude and toughness is what just that whole team just started living that, and you've seen great things happen. I think... He said to himself, him and Vrabel's got a great relationship. And Jim said, hey, Kevin, 
My boy Mike want to come and just be a consultant. I think he'll help me with the defense. I think overall he's a great football mind. He can help uh, with the attitude and toughness part. He was a sm very smart football player. Um, we got linebackers that we need to groom up some more this year with JOK taking the big step. I think he could come in there and be very productive in that room as well. And I think overall he'd be an asset. And I think Kevin Stefanski said, you know what? You're right. Let's bring him on and let's help because we want to do everything we can to try to win a Super Bowl this year. So I think that's what that what led to that happening. I don't think Kevin Stefanski is one bit uh, worried yeah. about him like people like, oh, he's right. going to take Kevin's job. Like, right. I don't think that's the case. I think what Kevin Stefanski did last season kind of nailed him down. Like You would think, but you, you could, just never know no, with Jimmy. It, I, no, I like Jimmy be crazy to do that. Like that, He hasn't shown you he's crazy at times? Yeah, but that's that that's absurd. Okay, like, that's really absurd. Like, because right. what he did last year, like I said, you take thirty-one coaches and put them in the same predicament that Kevin was in last year, they don't have the same results. That's just a fact. Well, I know about thirty-one, but, I, but many. thirty-one, thirty-one. You don't think any other coach thirty-one won as many and games? Patty Mahomes go down, Andy Reid's done. Oh, uh, uh, well, okay. I mean, uh, it, it, I mean, it, the Steelers. Brock Purdy won with no went. Brock Purdy went down. They were done. And I know, I know, I know this is so this, yes, this thirty-one because that's mm. the only two other coaches that I mm. would consider. No, like I, I don't agree with that, but I get your point. You see, I get your do point. you see? You see how? Like, let's be real. Yeah. Um, you see how if Deshaun Watson doesn't play well, and there, there's always seasons that happen like this. Teams that are supposed to be good that get off to a really bad start and it sure. spirals. Yeah. I, I'm wondering, and, and I'm not saying that I don't think this will happen. My only question is, what does his job security <laughs> looks like, look like if things spiral? Yeah, well, until he gets a new contract. And it's, uh, I, I, you're right, Ty, because it's crazy to think there's any threat to his job. And I don't really think that, but every other move in the coaching staff that gets made before he signs an extension makes me a little nervous. Now, I think your theory on how this happened is correct. makes a ton of sense. Well, and you. so you're probably right about that. Uh, you know, and and... I, it it makes a lot of sense. I, I I can buy that 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 happened that way. So so let, that does make me feel. I'm, 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 let me think. I'm trying to think of a. I'm thinking of a real good analogy, right? Well, let me gee, think. I think I think I know what you're trying to get at. You're saying that if the schedule comes out and the Browns in the first four weeks of the season play the Chiefs, the Eagles, the Ravens, and the Bengals, and somehow go one and three, right? The calls, and you know it's going to happen, regardless of whether. They, they're losing 58 to 52 or 13 to 10. There's going to be a fraction of the fan base that starts calling for Vrabel, right uh, or wrong. Oh, That's what you're kind of getting at, right? Teams should not yeah. care about what the fan base is calling I, for. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to, but, put, to what, put the terminology what G's trying to describe. But I'm reading what he's saying if correctly. you care about something like that, if Kevin Stefanski has an extension, then the amount of fans calling for that, if you care about it, will be a lot Goes lower way down. Yes. because you have an extension. Where you're not going to fire a guy after four games when you just signed an extension. Gee, I'm just, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but is that what you're trying to get at? Well, here, no, here, here's what I'm, I'm going to say. So we doing this show right here. We doing the Ultimate Cleveland Sports Show. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. So we all doing this show or whatever. We, do, we moving along. Everything's good. But we had an impasse, right? So one day, we come in. We go ready to sit the show. Then we sit in the show. They say, hey, um, we want to let y'all know uh, Tony Rizzo's on the show. Now, now, see you. Watch, see you. This is the, this is why I'm the analogy. God, I would be like, this, let's do so, it. So, so me, and we like, let's do it. <laughs> let's but do here's it. the thing. <laughs> but here's the thing. The problem is, you got a show now, where you like, okay, well now Tony Rizzo is on the show. Like people looking around, like he's just gonna be here like once a day. His name is too big to be here once a day. So now they're like, okay, well hold on, who be leading shows around here? A bull lead shows, Jay Lee shows. So they're going to have Bull, Jay, and Tony Rizzo? That's crazy. What you going to do? Somebody got something. Who's move? What? We do it all the time. What are we talking about? Nah. Jay, when it's you, Jay, and Bull, uh -uh. all three no, of y'all no, 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 shows. No, 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 no. See, and it's fine. No, no, no. This is different. No, it ain't. It is. How? Yeah, because they, they came in together. They could be adding an extra. They're, you add somebody. So, 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 so when you <laughs> add somebody, who going? Like, so you add Mike Vrabel, right? You already got Jim Schwartz, who got a lot of experience. You already got Kevin Stefanski. You already done told Alex Van Pelt he got to go. You brought in Dorsey. You bringing in all these other different people. And now it's like, well, okay. 
uh, you don't just bring in really top big names just to hang out. Like top names work. Well, yeah. <laughs> in the same in the same doing? breath, Mike Vrabel is jobless. Today he's jobless. Right. He's been jobless. He, yes. So he and he but, wanted to be a head coach. It's not like he wants to be a coordinator. The, so until he gets his job that he wants, right. he wants to still be around. But the let game. me ask you this: Titus. and on top of that, he's from Cleveland. He wanted. Titus. He's a Browns fan. That's no, even worse. No, Titus, it ain't. Let me ask you this: You're a player on the Browns. Yep. Okay. You were on the Browns last year. You know how great a job Kevin Stefanski did. You just said it. Mm. You thought he was the best coach in the league. Yeah. Okay. I mean, he won the coach of the I, year. He won award. the award. So if, if you're a player on the Browns right now, and somebody said to you, one of your buddies came up to you and said, "Why didn't Kevin Stefanski get an extension?" Like, would you be thinking like, as a player, are you thinking that's weird? Or players, you know, like if somebody brought it to your you, ask it, you ask it, you ask it, Powell. Tyvis Powell was the player. No, because yeah. I'd be worried about my extension. No, but I'm saying if somebody specifically, that's a fact. If let's say you had an extension, okay, Again, that's not okay. an issue for you. Your team leader. You okay. don't think that's weird? And then they sign Mike Rip. Now, if they give Stefanski an extension, then I think all this this hubbub about Rabel goes away. Yeah, it's out. We of don't here. worry about it anymore. Well, they need to hurry but up until and do Stefanski it, gets an extension, I'm sick of hearing it. All you know, I, I, it's only been what forty eight hours. Because, and I'm sick of but it until already. Stefanski gets an extension, there's always there's always going to be some people that thinking. Well, they brought Vrabel in here for a reason in but case that, it goes badly. That that's just that. <laughs> what you talking about is literally just. Just to spark a conversation because I don't. I look at this movie and I promise you, the thought of him taking Kevin Stefanski out didn't even cross my mind. That's it, not even a thought. But Tyvis, if we're four games into the season, as G said or or Mike said, and the team gets and, off to a bad start, fire, you don't think people are thinking about if that? If they fire Kevin Stefanski, they they wouldn't make Mike Vrabel the interim. It'd probably be Jim. And then Jim will go, oh, well, I got me a defense coordinator, Mike. Makes it easier. Yeah, that's probably – so I'm it's not saying, like it's not like Mike is here think, to take Jim. I know job. that. I know that. I agree. <laughs> but in the end, there's no more conversation if Kevin gets an extension. And I, he should And the extension. Browns should dead this conversation by sending it out so, at, at my, 12 o'clock exactly. today. Exactly. So, so my thought process is for everybody that, that gets on the media guys, right – and says, you guys are just stirring. I hate the word stirring the pot. You're stirring the pot. And it, this, this is, uh, I'm with them on this one. This but, is definitely but, stirring but, the but pot. But you, so, you know us. We're not saying this to stir the pot. Not y'all. I'm but, saying people that's but, like, but my this question, is just Don't you stir. think fans are having these same conversations? So, yes. so yes, my, question, my question to them people is, what is the reason he doesn't have a, a, a contract extension? Guys, what, two tell coach me. of the years in four years? If you could tell me that and come up with a good reason yeah. that, that he does not have an extension or Andrew Berry does not have an extension, I'll leave it alone. I won't say nothing. I, yeah, I agree. And I'm, I'm, Jimmy, not, I'm Jimmy, not saying they Jimmy brought... Jimmy is off on a golf resort right well, now they raising behind, money. Times, I'm not saying that they brought in <laughs> Vrabel to replace no, him. No, I'm just saying. But what, when you bring in guys who have been head coaches, it makes you think about the fact that he hasn't been signed. And... Well, there's another person here who could legitimately be the coach if things change and they wanted to fire it, him. Listen, it's, it's just like saying, it's just like all of a sudden you come on the radio and be like, yeah, me and my wife are going through some stuff. We've been arguing back and forth. We're trying to get our marriage back. And the next thing they see you is in a grocery store with a hot gr chick. <laughs> You can't have, you can't be around the hot chick when you and your wife going no, through something. You mean? No, ain't nothing. Yes, you can't. Can. No, you can't. <laughs> yes, no, you if y'all is, it depends <laughs> on what you do. <laughs> what are you talking about? They gonna be looking at you crazy. You, you see, you, listen. You know he you said. See, wait a minute. He oh, said they are you and G. No, what he doing G, over there? You That's see? True. Did you not see <laughs> what Lil Meech did? That's, I can't help my cousin with groceries. And, with the bag? Who was in the grocery little store? Little Meech is out of pocket. Yeah, we went to the grocery store. Gee, first of all, who's Little Meech and what did he do? <laughs> Big Meech's son. I don't know who he is. We either. went to the grocery store. I can't help her with the bags? Who so, was Big we did, we did a live show on Friday okay. right after the news broke, right? Okay. And it was a fascinating social experiment looking at the chat. Okay. Because the chat is exactly what this is right here. Half the chat goes, great football move, helps the team, no issue to Stefanski, no distraction. From a football standpoint, this is brilliant, which I agree with. From a pure football standpoint, it's a brilliant move. You get another genius head coach or a, a proven winner in the NFL into this room. The other half of the chat was already calling for, oh, Vrabel's a better head coach than Stefanski. 
And you can yeah, see. G and I are not saying really either of those things. No, no, no. But to Tyvis's point, it's not going to be a distraction. You saying it could be a distraction. I, I, I'm saying the me, chat in the immediate in the immediate aftermath. We're talking literally ten minutes after. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We had a 50-50 split in the chat of there's no worry about a distraction versus he's the next head coach of the Browns. To me, the only way it could become a distraction is if they if they start the season, Stefanski does not have an extension and Which they get off ludicrous. to a bad start. Which would be ludicrous. That's crazy. That's the only way. Now, I don't think that's going to happen, but that's the only way. The equivalent is like saying, I'm, I'm signing. That, we just talk about Ohio State, right? The equivalent is they talk about, we go, we signing Coach K as a consultant. What? What's, what wrong with, what's wrong with that? That's actually great because you're helping a young coach develop no, into a better game. Right. We, we like, I don't great. want, we might, we they want, should, oh, you know what, they hey, should G, do that. Gee, the, the Milwaukee Bucks hired Doc Rivers as a consultant this year. <laughs> you see what happened? They shouldn't have never did, and they shouldn't have did that. And they should have never hired. Him. See, here's the well, problem. that's good. Well, here, here, here's that's the, the issue. Old, that's the other coach's own. We fault. not saying it's a problem because I would hire him. He, any good coach, any good football organization can never have enough good people in place. I understand that. My point is this: you open your coach up to unnecessary stuff like this when he wins coach of the year. He didn't show up to the award ceremony, by the way. Uh, you get rid of his 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 offensive coordinator, um, and that's been confirmed. And Did he? he he still won't even tell you if he's calling plays. Which so is questionable, which is questionable. Yeah. So we're like, of course, people gonna put two and two together. Like that's right. Like, and, and he has no contract. And, and the Browns could end this whole thing by extending <laughs> him, Just which is what most people want them to do. Yeah. I think we'd all be thrilled and ecstatic if the fans end, end of con- end of controversy. But then we done. End but then we won't have nothing to talk about. There's, There's plenty of other things to talk about. <laughs> then we'll figure Contrary out to Stephen A. Uh, Steve Smith, not Stephen A. Smith. Contrary to Steve, Steve Smith's Smith. comments, <laughs> we can, we got or Steve Smith was going to get used by Cleveland.